Hello everyone, my name is John Bossart. I'm an HPE Business Transformation Center Engineer for Ingram Micro. I help support HP servers, blade systems, storage, as well as Aruba networking technology solutions. Today, I want to talk about HPE's GreenLake platform for a, from a high level. So you can see that I'm currently logged into the GreenLake platform and I'm using a web browser to accomplish that. So this is certainly a cloud-based resource. I would say if we're looking at the cloud as being more of an experience and less of a destination, the HPE GreenLake platform brings this to on-premises hardware. All right Now, I know a lot of people's first exposure to the GreenLake solution has really been around the cost model. And what I'll say is you can pay for what you utilize on a monthly basis. So in the case of storage, if I put on-premises 10 terabytes of storage, but I only use 7 terabytes of that, I only pay for 7 terabytes on that monthly basis. Right? And that solution, I'm not subscribed to that um, at this time in our environment, but if I go down here, I can certainly subscribe to it. And we call that tile HPE's Green Lake Flex Solution. So if I go inside this resource or this tile, um, I'll be able to look at the capacity utilization and look at my cost based on that capacity utilization. And this could be used you know, for far more devices and just storage. You can certainly do compute, and we're starting to introduce networking into that environment as well. Um, this tile has been renamed, so if you are familiar with Green Lake Central, it's now called HPE's Green Lake for Flex Solutions. Right. But the cost is one aspect of managing with this cloud-like experience. There's also day-to-day -day maintenance of equipment on site. So, so things like Aruba Central allows us to be able to manage on-prem HPE networking equipment. So things like access points, switches, and gateways, again, from this cloud-like experience. Right. Compute Ops Management allows us to manage on-prem reliant servers, complete life cycle capabilities. So updating firmware, deploying operating systems, configuring RAID controllers, things of that nature can be done within Compute Ops. Data Services allows us to manage HPE storage solution. And I'm actually going to launch into this because there's certainly a lot of services we could talk about within this environment. Now, if we look at HPE Electra-based storage solutions, right, when I get, deploy one of those solutions on site, right, I'm going to get access to Data Ops Manager right, as well as Block Storage. Data Ops Manager allows me to manage the physical array, right? So, you know, maybe couple together a couple arrays for a replication strategy, change iSCSI, IP addresses, things like that will be done in Data Ops Manager. Block storage allows me to create volumes and present them to solutions in my environment. So, for example, creating a volume and then presenting it to a VMware cluster. Right? New with the Electra MP solutions, I have the ability to do file-based storage as well. Cloud Physics allows us to correctly size an environment by analyzing an existing environment Right, so we've got a greater understanding of how the equipment's being utilized so that when we go to size a new environment, right, we'll size that correctly for the resources that are required to, to drive the business correctly. Right. Business continuity and disaster recovery is another important piece within this environment. Right, so we certainly have the backup and recovery service and disaster recovery service. I think I'm going to start with the backup and recovery service. This is like having backup software that a lot of people install on-prem, right? but this is cloud-based. Right? And if I launch this, this is a pretty comprehensive piece of software or solution or cloud-based software that you could, could leverage. For example, I could create protection policies that not only can protect HP array volumes, VMware virtual machines, Microsoft SQL servers, but look at this, we also have AWS. Right? And there's a variety of things, including basic virtual machines, EC2 incidences, as well as more advanced things like enterprise Kubernetes clusters. And that's found within this solution. Disaster recovery allows me to replicate between two different sites. right? So I could have up to the moment copies of data at a secondary site if I needed to. Right? If some of you guys are familiar with Zerto, I would say this would be an implementation of Zerto within the cloud. Right? And one of the nice things about these disaster recovery services as well as the backup and recovery service is these don't require HPE solutions to, to be on site. Right? You can use these with third party solutions. 
Private Cloud Business Edition allows us to manage HPE's hyperconverged solutions. So if I launch this, I'm managing in this environment a couple of DHCI solutions. So if you're not familiar with DHCI, um, it is disaggregated hyperconverged infrastructure. Um, in essence, a lot of hyperconverged solutions rely on software defined storage. In this case, we're not relying on software defined storage, we're actually relying on an electro array, but we're still giving you all the value adds. And the Private Cloud Business Edition tool allows us to be able to manage that solution from up in the cloud. So quickly, I can tell that this resource here is being overutilized within my environment. Right? Recently, SimpliVity has been added into this environment. Right, so that's another important thing within this environment. Software updates don't have to be manually implemented within the environment. Right, those are done on the back end um, through this cloud service. So nothing that anybody has to worry about. They just kind of appear within this environment. Now with this private cloud business edition, to show the true multi-cloud nature of this solution, right, if I go over here and I go down to virtual machines, I can see all the virtual machines within my DHCI solutions or my VMware solutions. But up here, I can also see public cloud VMs where I'm getting a view of these VMs that are inside AWS. Right? And not only could I create a virtual machine within my private cloud solution, right? but I could also create a virtual machine within my public cloud solution. You can see here I have the option to deploy that in AWS as well as Microsoft Azure. So that true multi-cloud type of environment. Right, so, so that's the Data Services Cloud Console. So these are the solutions based on managing data within an environment. And then here we're back at the Greenlake platform. All right, there are some other tiles and solutions that they add. So certainly the Sustainability Center gives you an insight to the carbon footprint um, that's utilized within an environment. Um, Ops Ramp is a new solution that's deployed that allows you to be able to not only um, discover devices, understand the faults within the environment, but also manage and monitor um, third-party devices outside of HPE with, within this, this tire or within this solution. So when you look at this entire platform, you know this certainly speaks to being able to manage an infrastructure holistically from a cloud. So again, if we look at the cloud as being more of an experience and less of a destination, really HPE brings that experience right, to on-prem hardware while also including cloud solutions for that true multi-cloud experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more videos.